when your eyes fixate on something, it's not on the desk, it's not on the blackboard, it's not on the shelves, it's on the body hanging from the ceiling, upside down. I clear my throat a little awkwardly. I am a little shocked, but... Esperta backs away. He's been flayed. Is this Master Vernon? Please tell me it isn't. Can't be anyone else. Look, look. And she points at the, the, the hanging corpse. Look at the right, right, right hand. You see? You see? He, he's missing the, the, the two of the digits on the, the right hand. That's, that's, that's Vernon. That's Vernon. I immediately go to sort of try and comfort this woman, trying to draw her away from the scene. Yes, now, now, listen here, madam. After having pointed you toward the, the evidence that this is Vernon, she, she backs away out of the room again and stands in the hallway, leaning against one of the walls. Now, we need a little more information, as, as Berta. Have you called the guards? Uh, this happened just a li- little while ago. I, I haven't gotten around to it. I was just about to... To, to maybe do something when, when you knocked on my door. And did you hear a noise? How did this happen? When I don't know how long this... Uh, it's all been... I, I sent everyone home and then it, it, it's been... I don't know, it, it maybe an hour? I don't know. When was the last time you saw Master Vernon? Oh, uh, well... Uh, He came home, that I remember, after running some errands. Uh, he was like, there was nothing, I don't know, he seemed... We had an argument this morning, it, nothing important, it was just something silly, but I, no, he was glad. He, and he closed himself in his study, as he do. Uh, because he, he's got junior tutors doing most of the teaching now. I continue looking at her, trying to will myself to look away from the flayed corpse, but after a while I realize I'm, I better I better make sure that I actually know that this is him. But also, if this is actually, as they say, something that has been done by creatures of the forest, or a creature, some kind of blight creature, then that is in some eerie way it, fascinating. I start moving very carefully yeah, into the room. One thing you notice is, while, while you keep talking to Sperta is that the window is open yes. in, in the room, leading out to to a nearby roof. Sperta, would you give us a, a moment? You go make yourself yeah, something yeah, to drink yeah, and call sure, the guards. Sure, 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 we, we, sure. We'll wait here. Sure. I, will, I will call them. I look to then... The kitchen is on the bottom floor. Yeah, you, I... You'll be there. Good, yeah, yeah. good. Camerack. Yes. First of all, I'm... I'm not sure really what to say in regard to the situation. I don't know who's going to be paying you, but... Do you... Does this look like anything to you? I take a candle and I, I, I start saw. moving over to the window. <laughs> yeah, you start... There are a couple of things to see here. First, the window is ajar, and the, you don't need to do a test to see that bloody footprints actually are leading away from the body and the entrails and stuff towards the window. Yes, I'm looking at the window. I look back at Kvarik. I listen to what he replied when Olin asked this, if this looked like something for him. This is, this is nothing I have seen before, I take it. This is... Um... Um, I want to examine uh, this place and see if I see any signs of, I don't know, magic or uh, blight, corruption. Mm-hmm. You can both start, uh, because if you're also looking around trying to figure out what happened, you can roll vigilant. 19. 18. I, I think I'm a little bit yeah. put down, but I, I actually... When we're looking around for things, I, I turn to you, Bartan. I guess your order will still pay me for this, even if your master is dead. 
Oh yes, of course you would be paid. Uh, I don't un know. You were not paid anything in beforehand then, or uh, was it half half? I don't remember. Those monies are gone, you know. Of course. Well, I'm I'm sure there is a, a treasurer in the order now that everyone else has been sent home. Um, but of course you should be paid what you have been promised. Yes. Uh, I don't know if, if, if I'm sure there's even more in it if you would decide to. Uh, find the villain in this. Well, uh, as long as I have your word on it. Yes, of course. Well, I should. Uh, we should follow the tracks and see where they lead. Do you also try to figure out what the, the scene? I, I feel return, having seen yeah. Mr. Esbetta downstairs. Mm. I come back to join these two. I walk into the scene. I'm not really a man of. Investigation. I have no idea what to even do. I look to my friend. What? What's, what? What are you two making of this? What? What have you found? Um, I am almost slipping on a bit of blood and entrails. Uh, clearly having a bit, a bit, bit perturbed by the scene, uh, and I'm not. I look up at you. Oh, Ori. I don't know. I. I have no idea. Uh, I mean, you can. You're. Um, Medically trained, so you could try to examine the, the core. I will go up to the heap of things and I point over to the window, sort of holding my hand under my nose. Well, the, the, there are tracks leading out on the roof outside. Tracks? Um, but Kavarak, do you think you could follow them? Uh, again, I'm sorry, I'm asking much of you now. We had, uh, I made a deal with Bartala, so I think that we can solve the monetary issue later. Ah, oh, good, ah, oh, good. Well, I, I'm grateful. You can roll a cunning test, starting to, to examine the body. That's 8 and uh, 13. It takes about 15, 20 minutes for you to, to really give the, the, the corpse a, a thorough examination. The first thing you notice, looking at the, the hanging corpse, is that not only is its bowels out on the, the floor, but incisions have been made to get access to certain glands, it seems, and they have been removed. It's uh, the pineal gland, the thyroid gland, and the adrenal gland. All of them have been removed. And uh, as, as a medical, you have actually heard that these glands are kind of special. There are rumors and theories stressing that Consuming these glands can help to alleviate corruption sickness. This is interesting. I say, as I see, I suppose, what are you doing during this 15 to 20 minutes? I have gone to see if I can assist Kavarak in any way, but he seems to be the expert of the tracking. Yeah. What more is, and this is really strange, under the blood, you find that the hair of the skin, the heap of skin and hair that lies on the floor, the hair is long and blonde. And looking at, you know, a portrait of the dear, what must be Master Vernon, he's got almost black hair. Well, I know him, don't I? We've met before, me and the... No, Vernon. yeah, yeah, maybe some a, a short meeting once back in Alberta, yes. Yes, and that because he was acquainted with your master. Yeah. Yes, that so that picture looks a bit more like him. And yeah. This. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's not his hair. It's blonde. It's, it's not like whitened, but uh, it looks like a. Up and closer sort of examination. The ears. This is not human ears. What species is it? It's an elf. The skin. Is an elf. Oh, so this couldn't be Vernon at all. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yes, I am going to ask Orlan about this, but I want to know what they have been doing first. Well, you have been looking at the window. Please roll a video and test. You have nine. You see. I mean, to be honest, I'm more looking at what Kavrak's doing. I mean, like, yeah, I, sp we, I have a look. Sixteen. Sixteen. Well, no, what you both can, examining the, the window frame, 
you can at least conclude that the window isn't damaged. Uh, so if it wasn't open to begin with, it must have been open from the inside. But during the time where uh, Bartala is investigating the, the corpse, mm. and doing things, saying things to herself that are like medical terms that I've never heard about, glands. Folding mm. over pieces of skin as it's... Mm. Yeah, it's like, it's macabre, I think. Uh, you should treat the dead with respect. Uh, I uh, actually exit the window and move out on the roof and just try to follow the track so I can see yeah. sort of where it has led. Not all the way, just to sort of mm-hmm. see the general direction. The bloody footprints are quite clear mm-hmm. to see. Are they uh, bare? Yeah, bare feet. Bare feet. North. North. More or less towards the Toad Square. Inside Haloban's ring, mm-hmm. and this is like the, the notorious treasure hunters. Uh, you could <laughs> maybe follow the trail. If you yes, but I'm thinking that I should follow it with my companions, at least with Orlan and his two-handed sword. Yes, I feel while he was doing that, I kind of had a common sense moment. I quickly left the room, mm. went to the door, said, "Don't worry, it's better just a moment." Walked outside and then tried to find my way from the ground to where mm. he is on the roof, and then tried to collaborate. Mm. Like, do you think? And I'm seeing, can I see then the tracks coming down from the roof to the ground? Bartala, you find a letter drenched in blood. Mm, Dear Master Nightingale. It's probably Night Night Pitch. It's probably addressed to the mayor. Oh. And, I, and this is what I can read. What is yeah. that? I know that we seldom see eye to eye, but let's scar. Before you continue reading, you realize that actually what you need to maybe make this a little bit easier to read, you need some vinegar. And you can quickly get that from the kitchen, from Esperta. And then I want you to roll a cunning test with your alchemy. And you can try to wash some of the blood away. So it's better still in the house. She's went. Yeah. She's gone to the kitchen. I, I hear her. I'm asking her for the vinegar, and then I'm also asking her about if there's a blonde-haired elf working here normally. Oh, uh, what? No elf? Are you? No, no elves. No. No elves in the city usually. Yeah, maybe, but I, I mean, Master Vernon sometimes meet them. He's kind of part of their. You know, sect or something. I mean, I I, I hate them. I I, I, I don't want them. He ha- he had a visitor, an elf, this early this day. Yeah. Oh, he did. And I uh, get a bit caught up in the. But she... and I just pour vinegar all over it <laughs> and uh, I roll an eighteen. No. But yes, no, there just... there was an elf here. Okay, you get caught up in that. Let's follow these guys. Uh, Kvarek on the roof. Yes. And he uh, tried to roll for Vigilant. And roll, roll a one. Uh, you have to jump between a couple of roofs, but the houses are so close together, so there's no real challenge in jumping between the houses. Uh, and you actually manage to follow this trail. And at the same time as I do that, I'm in constant contact with Orlan, who is below on the street and in the alleyways. Yes, and I kind of try and keep with him, you know, mm. again, keeping an eye on ground level mm. and just trying to see what I can see and being like, hey! <laughs> the blood is obviously draining from, from the feet, so yeah. after a while you have a hard time following the steps, but about here, close to the toad square, the person has climbed down to the street and you come because you followed him. Yes. So you're standing on the street. You can roll for vigilance. 11 over 9. But you also realize and you can scale down. It will be impossible to keep following these tracks now that because here (sighs) on the ground there are so many. Yeah, but someone might have seen someone at least smeared with blood and barefoot climbing down. Perhaps we should ask around. Hmm. 
But I don't even understand. Why would an individual be covered in so much blood? You start soak himself in it? To ask around or start to walk back? I think we because go. darkness is falling and this is like exactly the area where you shouldn't be after nightfall. No. Mm. Perhaps we should head back and tell her what we found. Well, I think we should. Uh, the sounds from the silence of the Simbarum and other taverns are starting to grow louder. But there is probably a reason why, why this person is climbing down here. What are the establishments around here? What is the building? There are uh, lots of inns, lots of residents. Uh, there are taverns and, and s- small shops and also warehouses, a few of them along. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think that if I were to be the killer, uh, and I'm climbing down, I have, I have moved over the rooftops, I will climb down to go to my hiding place. Hmm. I don't want to move across the streets because I would be seen then. So I moved on the rooftops, then I have climbed down. Hmm. And I what the, and it's probably not an inn because I can't walk into an inn with drenching blood. Hmm. I'm looking for a warehouse door or some establishment. I can look at sort of the door handle or if I can see some sort of smudge of blood or something. Hmm. So, and you are trying to figure out what it says on that bloody note? Yes, and I'm talking a bit to this better. You haven't seen a small girl run around here or come in here recently, have you? Mm, well, yeah, we have a lot of, we tutor a lot of young girls. I tried to describe the little girl that I saw mm. earlier this day. With the no, necklace. No, that, do you say a uh, barbarian pendant? Yes. No, no. Costs quite a lot of time to be tutored by Master Vernon, so no. Does Master Vernon often have contact with the mayor? Mayor Knight? What's it called? Master Knight? Mayor Knight, bitch? Yes. Uh, well, yeah, sometimes. He, yeah, why? No, I found a letter here, but unfortunately it's completely drenched and I can't really make out oh. much of it. Master Knight, bitch. Something about. This, this, Skull of the King or something like that? I don't know. Did you... Did you... Uh, oh, are we expecting someone? Yeah. Maybe a bit of town watch? Sure. Did you open? Yeah, I will. I'll uh, go behind her. You follow her to the door and... Absolutely. As it swings open, there stands a watchman. And it's obviously not one of the foot soldiers. But out on the street, there are two... Uh, spear uh, wielding or carrying at least town's watchman and uh, in front of them is someone like he, he wears a fencing sword and a stern posture and uh, an officer's outfit so this is obviously one of the captains um, i'm going to zoom in a to ha- open the door i say oh goodness good you're here we have such a mess upstairs here you are I am Bartala of the uh, Order Magica, but not this chapter. He's quite young, this guy. Well combed, maybe lieutenant or captain of the town watch. We should go inside, all of us. Please, wh- wh- tell me what's happened. Maybe, up here, maybe up here. You... It's up here. And I start leading them up into the room as I mm. uh, talk. It's quite a nasty big picture. I, I, he's been... I, I heard that... Yes, Benta doesn't even follow you. She heads back into the kitchen. Uh, it's, it seems to be an elf. I find the, ha- the, the yellow hairs of an, an elf. elf. I find the yellow hairs of an elf, definitely the ears of an elf. It doesn't appear to be Master Vernon, whom I came here to visit. Oh. And I lead yes. him up. Uh, do you know anything about these flames? Or Whoa! Anything? You're upstairs and he looks into the room. It's the flayer! Why? It's the flayer! What? What? Uh, Inside, mm, this is an art of. It, it seems like the window has been opened from the inside as well. From the inside, you say? Yes, and then there are footsteps. I look out here. My my companion. Who are you again? Batala. I am have been sent here by the Order Magica. I come from Alberito. I'm also I'm a novice in the Order Magica chapter. I was sent here to, well, to deliver a thing to Master Vernon, but he is not to be found. Well, yeah. I do not think it's him. You don't? Look at the hair down there, and I <laughs> casually stroll over now. Uh, this is not okay, him. Okay. It's, but... This is a clearly elven. Apparently he's had dealings that's, with elves. That's, that's Master Vernon's right hand. 
He's missing the the, 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 the the two digits on his right hand. That this is mostly Vernon's corpse, but not his skin. But the, the skin is definitely elf skin. Could it be? Suddenly, you realize yeah. something. If you pass a cunning test, you have heard as student of uh, mystical powers. Nine under thirteen. You have heard about a horrific. I, I mean, this is this is true horror stories. A horrific uh, sorcery ritual, making it possible to actually skin people and dress up in their skin and assume their appearance this way. Someone else left their skin behind, I mumbled to myself, and took Master Vernon's instead. What? You said... You said... You said what? Because uh, this is not the first player uh, victim, you know. We have quite a few of those. And we are yet to, to capture... What do you know of Blightborn? What do I know of Blightborn? I mean, you have heard quite a lot of... During the Great War, you faced the, the, the armies of the Dark Lords. There were a lot of undead uh, creatures. They, they reanimated corpses and had them fight their bloody fight. Uh, this... Thing with Blightborn, it's more uh, uh, something of this area, up north, where ancient evils of old Simbarum are infecting humans and animals and making them sick with corruption. So, and that you don't know very much about. Okay. A little bit about it. So what I you do know is that the real abominations, the really blight sick creatures, they do not act rationally and enough to perform rituals. This is the work of a sorcerer. Someone has alleviated themselves of temporary skin, drained the glands, the thyroid glands, the adrenal glands, the pineal glands of, 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 of a master vernum in order to try and remove corruption from themselves. This is... this is very disturbing. Well, I don't quite follow, but maybe you should Follow me to the to to the to the garrison and talk to our corpse examiner uh, and maybe maybe share some notes with him. Yes, yes, that uh, would be because very... it, it would be and I can't stress this enough. It would be a very very good thing if we managed to capture the flayer, uh, and anyone who helps us do that would be we would be yeah would be in our. Yeah, I mean, you, you can earn some money from this, you know. Yeah. I uh, flatten the coats against my chest and I once what again... What did you say? Dress up in? Come on then, move the way, move along, find a fight, lead us the way, Captain. And I uh, feel the uh, sandstone pulsating against mm -hmm. my chest and it feels very good that maybe now I can keep this and also earn a reward at the same time as I might explore things up here, which was what I really wanted now that my old master is dead back home. I'm mm -hmm. guessing our investigation went a bit nothing. I said perhaps we yeah, should return. Actually, you ask mm -hmm. around, and uh, many people uh, don't want to answer at all, and just want to go about their business. And none of them, the people you talked about, has seen anyone scaling this wall and or behaving strangely or whatever. So and we right. don't see any strange like smudge marks at the sort of warehouse doors and. and no, nothing. It, it's not... Uh, no blood, no recent, at least, <laughs> marks of, of fresh blood. In this part of town there's mm. always blood. Yeah. Yes, so. perhaps we should return to the others. Yeah, I think we should. So. Yeah, and when you come walking the street and you turn the corner, you see uh, a young captain of the town watch marching out the door, closely followed by your dear Bartala. And they look like they are w walking with a purpose. Ah, Bartola! Oh, my friends! Ori, how has it gone? Well, we found a... Good evening, good evening, sir. And, and you are? I am Orlan of... Well, formerly of... Uh, the Panzer. The Queen herself. Oh. But not so much now. Um, well, my associate here... Varank. Captain Decamedo? Well Pleasure. met. Yeah, uh, 
whatever. Anyway, we're walking to the garrison uh, uh, because your friend here, uh, the, the wizard, uh, come. Wonderful. Yes. Um. I we found tracks leading from oh, the tracks, house. You say. Mm. Yeah. You tried to talk to your friends, but he okay. Oh, right. Uh, yes. Come along, sir. Uh, please. I, I, I move along, and as we're walking, I go, All right, well, yes, I think we found tracks. And leading away from the area to, well, that part of town. We found. A part of town? Yeah. What part? What do you say? Near the Toad Square. Ah. Oh, okay. Inside Halopan City. Mm. Indeed. And that's where they then seem to descend from the rooftops to the ground level, and, well, then they were gone. From there. They were gone. Oh. Alright. Uh, so he starts leading you south towards this the, the garrison. It's it's walled and this building is where he, he takes you. It's the the town watch headquarters. And he immediately has you follow him inside and then down the stairs to what you soon realize it's where the corpse examiner is doing his stuff. So it's pretty cold down here, but that doesn't help very much with the stench because on, you know, steel slabs you have several days old corpses lying and then close to that heaps of skin. Any uh, of the work that we did earlier today that I see here as well? No, not in this hall at least. Yeah, and there is no one in here and he asked you Please wait in here, and I will go uh, ask for Master Elantro, and I will send him to you. And I myself, I will go up to the records, and I will collect some stuff because uh, changing skin, you say? That's that's that should explain quite a lot. I look a little yeah. confused and looked up yeah. our like changing skin. Well, Ori, Clark, I, I've made an interesting discovery. It seems like the thyroid gland, the pineal gland, and adrenal gland were all emptied, uh, in- indicating perhaps that someone is trying to alleviate uh, corruption. There are uh, at least theories that this might somehow be used for that purpose. And the skin that I found was different. But the captain, uh, as well, insists that the corpse actually flayed was that of Master Vernum. So someone has taken his skin, left their skin behind, and then rushed out the window. Why would they do that? Were the skin childlike? Like the child that we saw before? No, they couldn't have been. Why would they fit? How could they? This was a grown man's skin. I think this girl is not connected to it at all now. Sounds like sorcery. Definitely a sorcerer, yes. So how did it go? Did you see anything else? Well, the person in the new skin, if you say so, moved towards the Toad Square and we lost the tracks there. So why would he let him in? He must have seen an elf come... No, wait. Hmm. You perhaps knew him? I know, yes, because the elves occasionally visit him. He came in, they were having a... Uh, oh, and then he just opened it for himself and went out. Yes, of course. So, uh, possibly an elf that he has met before. That might not have been themselves, because they might have been dressed up in skin as well. Yeah, the conclusion you can draw from this line of argument is that Master Vernon is out and about in the town right now. Not being himself. No, but someone looking, looking like exactly him. like him. Wearing his skin, his hair, his clothes, probably. Who would he visit? Who would you backstab if you're dressed as Master Vernon? You can do a lot of damage like that. The mayor, probably. I uh, hold up a, the blooded lesser. Uh, this was a letter that he was re- writing to uh, the mayor himself, Mayor Nightpitch. Something about the skull of kings, the killings being connected. It's really hard to make out, and I hand it over uh, to Clara. I Clare. cannot read. Sorry? And I take it and go, well, let me see. Uh, I, I can see little, really. Through the door was yes. probably Master Ilantru, uh, a bold, huge, heavy set man with a face that's pink and a, a nose that's like uh, shining red. And he, you smell him before you see him. This man is a drunkard and he's really heavily drunk right now as he wobbles in through the door. Uh, uh, 
Hi. Master uh, Elantra. Yes. Yes. You per- That's me. You performed uh, examinations on the previous uh, victims of the, the flayer? Oh, uh, yes, as you can see. You have them before you. Uh, Captain wanted me to, I don't know, talk to you about my work. May I? And I try to push by to go in and start looking at What? Uh, I prefer if you didn't know my work. That's my work over there. No no one's here to dispute your work. We're here to find information. Have you noticed anything that connects these separate uh, bodies? Anything, any similarities? Simple? No. I can tell you that's, uh, that's Garrick. I know that we have it d- identified. He's uh, your average trapper found uh, by the Toad Square, like uh, just north of the beacon. Uh, he was the first one. That's like six days ago. Uh, skinned. Uh, uh, well, and he's starting to smell, by the way. Uh, next one, Len. He was, uh, I think, a treasure hunter. Or something, some, yeah, scumbag, yeah, yeah, I found him, yeah, or not me, but they found him in the shed opposite the, the Salons of Simbarum. You have heard of that. It's also, by the Toad Square, a very famous tavern. And then, then the, the third one is Shanda. Uh, she was a barmaid, I think, uh, at the Ruin, or, no, uh, the Rose Garden, uh, yeah. Uh, we found her uh, in her home, just very close to the north gate. Rose uh, Garden, you say, is also close to the Toad Square, isn't I it? I say she worked. At, do you listen? <laughs> Where was the corpse then? I, 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 I don't know, somewhere close to the north gate. Somewhere north close to the north gate, which is close to the north square, man. Yeah, and then there, there's you have that heap of flesh and bone and muscle, or... Uh, that's Teoman. Yeah. I think it was a chimney sweep. Was that him? Yeah, that was him. Uh, in the in a, in a hen house, I think. In a backyard. Uh, uh, and where and whereabouts is that? In regard yeah, to the gates. Uh, there was also pretty close somewhere between. Uh, I think uh, in between uh, Toad Square and the Park of the Elders. There, somewhere there. But yeah. all were found outside. Isn't that right? All the other yeah, previous yeah. corpses. But this one, now it's happened inside. No, uh, you've got this totally wrong. They are not inside out. They are skinned. Very interesting, sir. Yeah. Do you know if any... <sighs> the skins in question. Can you, were they near uh, the... You are looking at the, the corpses, I'm starting right? to look at the corpses, and I'm starting to look Again, for the, the glands. Again, cunning test, cunning test, I'm, I'm going immediately for the glands yeah. now to see if they've been removed or drained. One. Yeah, not only that, all the glands are removed, but also the skin doesn't match the body. You are pretty sure now. The, the skins should be moved along. There should be another corpse, because the skin... That's next to Gerek. Yeah. It's not Gerek's skin. Were the skins found always near the bodies? Yeah, right next to the body. <coughs> and Excuse like, me, but I, I don't want to do this anymore. Which one was the last one found, Sad? But that's our, our last that question. That one. Theoman? Yeah. You know, Master, you've been very helpful. By all means, return to your cups and your sleep. <laughs> And I kind of dismiss him, thinking we need him no more. What, what do you Why? think? Yeah. And, and the last one killed must you're have been... Lo- you're looking at Teoman. Could it have been an elf? The elf, uh, the, what, what's, what is the, uh, the, the... The constitution of the body is... Could be human, but you're probably right. That's, that's the corpse of an elf and the skin of a human. I relay all this information about the skins not matching, their glands being removed as well, and uh, th- this must all seems to all have been happening outside near the Toad Square. But this time inside, I don't know if he's found. Maybe he's getting desperate, trying to find more upstanding citizens, uh, thinking that 
it would make a Wait, big difference. Wait, Bartala, the, the very first one then. So the very first person whose skin is his. Garrick the Trapper, he was found near the Toad Square. Well. And, and, and his but skin is the one... But it's probably not his body that's lying on the bridge. No. It, it's, the, it's, it's his skin, skin of Garrick, but the body is somewhere... From it, somewhere else. Can I probably find not found. Okay. If he has a trap where he can be killed in the woods, someone probably yes moved into the city. Yes, that sounds likely. But the, your friend, Master Vernon, is walking around the streets of Distelhold right now, I take it. Wearing a false so face. Yes, and where would he want to go? Where, where was he? Uh, where was the place that we were actually... Near the Park of the Elders, was mm. it? So he has moved quite a, a bit of way from the Toad Square to do this. It seems he is not accidental. Like, o- over the over the rooftops up here, the new Master Vernon, if you will. He moved back towards the Toad Square yeah. again to rest or dwell. Uh, but where do we go from here? I we, search the whole Toad Square. How long would that take? I don't know. We have the what? What is, what is near the Toad Square? It's the Beacon itself. It's the uh, Silence of Simba Room, which is the tavern. It might be worth going looking for Master Vernon at least. What does the mayor live? Yeah, you see in the town hall. But if he lives there, this looks more like a minister till. I would ask the the captain this. Perhaps we could ask the captain where the mayor is. I don't know if the mayor is somehow does plus play a role in this. But the, the way I see it, it's I, that's the one. This letter addressed to the mayor, possibly to do with the killings and Master Vernon trying to solve this, which might be a reason why this person was threatened uh, by Master Vernon. You make a Vernon. good point. Perhaps we should at least warn the mayor that he could be a target of this killer, and and then Suddenly go from there. Someone pokes his head in, it's the captain again, the young captain. Uh, the, maybe you should follow me. What? What's going on? And I start uh, moving out immediately. He struck again. What? <clears throat> Come on. Tonight? Where? Come! I move to follow very quickly, looking to Cavern going, well, there goes the looking for Master Vernon. Yeah, I hope the reward is good for this. I was going to settle down, a small cabin. Oh, come on, you're not yet had to do much yet. You're just yeah. a tracking over there some rooftops. It's is... better that I didn't really know how much time had passed, but there may be, it may be like three, maybe four hours in most, since Master Burnham died. That's what you would guess from examining his corpse. What about the first corpse? Uh, yeah, six days, he said so. Hmm. The last one, he didn't specify when that was, but if indeed Burnham was visited by an elf at the morning or before noon and then if it's the same elf it couldn't be very long ago since the final killing it seems like there's five one almost one per day we've got five corpses so far and six mm. one now so maybe it's escalating for some mm. reason you Fun. are running soon after him and guess where toad square yeah he's heading up north towards the beacon perhaps. Uh, over the promenade and people are out now probably off work for the day and some shops are closing, and if people are lining the streets as you come stomping, Captain Decamedo first, and then the three of you, and then after you comes eight watchmen with spears. Absolutely, he's noted by the people outside, so they stand to the side, just watching you pass by. I feel like I'm starting to be a bit huffing and puffing, and I don't, I'm not in this good a shape to be running around. So you come up here and you turn into a smaller alley and then... Just below the Toad Square? South yes. Of. On the backyard there is a small stable belonging to one of the residential blocks here. And inside the stable a body hangs upside down. Uh, there are people about, about a half a dozen watchmen are already here and then something that looks like a junior officer of the the watch but as you are coming there together with one of the captains you are quickly let into the stable and uh, i'm going immediately to see if the skin and the hair would be that of where it must yeah what you what you can notice directly 
It looks like uh, the murderer has been interrupted this time. So uh, it's skinned from, from its feet at the top and down to the waist. The skin is like torn off. But then it, he, he or she must have been interrupted. What you do, because the captain more or less looks at you, hmm. especially at I you. I go straight up. Is the, I'm assuming the person is dead? Yeah, yeah. How is yeah. it dead? Okay, strangled. Then you are pretty sure of without rolling any dice. I look to Kavarak and point to the ground like, Tracks! Can we see tracks? Yes, I suspect there will be blood on the hands with pulling down the skin. And if he has been interrupted, he might touch something on the way out. So I'm looking for tracks. Can you please roll a vigilant? 90. What you can notice, absolutely, is that the hay on the, the floor and there has been some kind of struggle or fight in here. Captain! Captain! Whose stable is this? Who who could this be? Well, you see the person, obviously. He's just still got his face on. Um, I say, and yeah, I yeah, realize what yeah. I'm going to say. Who is this? I haven't gotten that confirmed yet, but does it really matter? It, it does, be because a... now we know that the killer looks like Vernon. What we want to know is if this is a person of that, that matters at all. Rule a, a cunning test while you're talking. It's a nine yeah, under okay. 30. Uh, the glands are removed. Already. First, before the skinning. So there are, are holes in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in someone is. Yeah. Um, oh, Kvarik, do you think this is there some sort of. Do you think the reason why they stay around the Toad Square is because it's close to the forest? Because it's the creature of the forest? There are many dark things in the woods. But do you think that would be the reason they keep being so close to the North Square or I don't the Toad know. Square? This, this seems like sorcery. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I know yeah, someone has whispered in his ear. Uh, it, it's a, just a stable boy. Yeah, his name was well, Huralu. He still has his, the appearance of Master Vernon, the killer. Yes. He's still using his skin. We must have a sort of general oh. alert out for Master Vernon. Anyone seeing anyone with his? Yeah, yeah. Of look, course, of course. Not to mention, yeah. before you go, who discovered the body? He was interrupted. Which yeah, means he discovered. Was, um, he's calling. Kitara, come here. Another member of the town watch. Uh, female, uh, she looks also like a junior officer, comes up. Hey, yeah, it, it was me. I found, I, I, I heard something. I heard, I heard rackets and then I, I, I went here and then, then there were screams and, and, and I ran and then I, I saw, he, 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 the, I saw the murderer. He, he looked, he looked like, I, I, I don't understand it at all. It, it was, it was just this poor boy and he was like hurting him with, with a, with a curved blade, cutting him him. And he, he was like, you know, his glasses was all like, sprinkled with, with blood. And he, he, he was like, a, he Did was he like a, a color a, of his hair. Dark. He, he was, he was a scholar. He, he was, he, was he didn't Vernon. look like an abomination at all. He, he, he was maybe 50, 60, he, 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 normal. Medallion, normal. like this one? Yeah, maybe. I, My dear, he, calm yourself. Yeah, what? More important, uh, what happened immediately? What did you do? You saw him attacking him, you cried out. What the now? So, wait a minute. You hear raised voices outside. People talking to each other, like in, and you you can see outside that people are starting to back away because someone is approaching. Oh, I don't want to deal with this right now. The mayor. You recognize his henchmen, his thugs, but you haven't seen Baumelo, the witch hunter, before. He comes walking towards the sable, he himself all dressed in black with a white brimmed hat on, black cloak. He holds a metal chain tied to a young boy, pale, late teenager, really scrawny, who looks terrified and he has a, you know, a collar tied to this chain and Baumelo leads him by the chain onwards towards the stable. Oh, the captain. Oh, I don't know. Go, go, go. Hold them back. Hold them back. Or maybe, maybe we should, maybe we should talk to the mayor. 
I don't know. I, I will go talk to the mayor. Uh, uh, we need to, yeah. Not the sure. captain actually terrified. He looks skedaddles. <laughs> he walks away from the scene. And this is there. just perfect. You and this, this, is not this good. junior officer who looks totally shocked on the situation. And the famous witch hunter approaches outside with his little dog on a leash. How many are they? It's six of these henchmen, and it's Balmelo himself. Tall man, supposed to be about 50, scarred in his face. He looks as grim as you would expect from a seasoned witch hunter. I look a bit skeptical, just that. I kind of look to Ketwara, and I just say, listen, you don't need to deal with this. You need to get all the people you know, all the guardsmen, they need to be searching for Master Vernon now. You need to correlate the area that we've been in and think of where it could be. The killer can't be far. You, you need to do this now. The delay that this could cause is, could be everything. Go! Go! He walks close to the Toad Square. He, she just backs further into the stable. She doesn't go. But she, like, disappears into the shadows. Well... Ah, uh, witch hunter, I suppose. I am Pamelo, I suppose. Quark is putting on his shield just in case. And he stops right before you, hands over the chain to one of his colleagues. Pleasure to meet you. So, another flare of victim. Hmm. Yes, Master Witch Hunter, we are right in the middle of an investigation into this matter. And, well, to be honest, you're kind of interrupting things. Unless you've come, of course, to give us some... Aid or insight. I know you. I know you all. See, my little friends have already told me about your earlier meeting today. Yes, why did they attack us? It was the strangest <sighs> idea. You have to you have to accept my sincerest apologies. They are a little bit eager. When it comes to fighting evil, when it comes to capturing the dark-minded people actually living and working inside these walls, you have to apologize to them well, for their bad manners. It's all been resolved as far as we're concerned. What we are wondering now is about this player because it seems to have taken the shape of a previous colleague of mine. Taken the shape, you say? Bell sorcerer, yes. I mean, we don't want to waste anyone's time with this, but what we have learned you so far You are is talking about the blood-shrouding ritual? It is taking other people's skin, if that's yeah, what Yeah, that's mean. what I'm saying. You're talking about... A sorcerer. Um... Makes sense to you? <laughs> oh, yeah. This will be a nice one. So, definitely... And a I tough one. Do you want to tag along? Well... I think maybe Ter here, he points towards the little boy, will be able to track this one. What is this little boy's purpose, exactly? <laughs> He's a fighter of evil, just like me, just like my boys. Why is he colored? Hmm. Is there really th something you should be focusing on right now when we have a, a raving abomination on the loose in we, town? Just you, curious. If well, you wish to be vague about it, then certainly. That, is that why you came here, to investigate this matter yourself? Uh, here, yeah. I just heard a, of a fresh killing, and as long as it's fresh, I believe maybe we can find the, 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 the root of this. Uh, you are very, very welcome to, to, to join us on the hunt. Well, certainly. It appears that he is collecting glands. We believe it might be a possible reason to try and remove his own corruption. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you as well? Mm -hmm. You know, I guess we'll see. Where would you start? Ted. Come. It takes the shame. And he starts leading the boy around. And the boy, like, sort of more or less like a dog is looking for tracks or scents or whatever and he starts 
parading the boy around the, the scene of the murder. I'm also looking through the stable. I mean, we have a lot of hay where yeah. people can yeah. hide, for example. So I think mm. I can poke Will some you pre- please uh, roll? Did Two. You, you find what actually looks like you were looking for blood. Yeah. There is a trail leading away from the scene. Mm. A trail of blood, like someone has a deep cut in a leg or an arm or something like that. You can actually start following. There is a trail here. We should follow it. Do you say this out loud? Even for the witch hunter to hear? I think for my companions. Okay. Because he is continuously walking around. I don't really trust this witch hunter. I think we might end up in trouble later. I am inclined to agree with you, but I uh, see uh, you uh, noticing something and starting to signal that, Barak. And I say, very well, uh, we will be right back. Could you... Yes, we will catch up with you. Oh, how so? Well, we need to go and have a bit of words of exchange. You see, we were here originally to meet with Master Vernon, but now he seems to be dead, and now we have bureaucracy to deal with, and I flash with uh, the blood-sprained lesser. Are you... All right, uh, right, uh, I guess we can deal with this problem ourselves, but if you want to contribute, you shouldn't be long, because Ted will soon find uh, a viable track. Very well. I'm, I'm we sure. will make sure to keep you in mind, Master Witch Hunter. Thank you very much. Good day. And I kind of just quite abruptly walk off mm. to assist my friends in following these tracks. Come. Yes. I will move quite quickly and silently after the blood trail. You have listened to an episode of Red Moon Roleplaying where we played The Mark of the Beast for Simbarum. Simbarum is published by our friends at Free League Publishing. Our game master was Matthias Jonsson Hake, and we were also joined by Petter Nalu from Helmgast. The music was created by Halgrath and used with permission from their label Cryochamber. Check them out at cryochamber.bandcamp.com and their YouTube channel for more amazing dark ambient. We also use the official Simbarum intro by the Iron Pact Orchestra. We've also utilized a number of sound effects from freesound.org. Extra special thanks go to Tom Murr for helping us to edit this session. Thank you. We would like to give massive thanks to our champions of the Red Moon, Martin Hoyshobear, Nastasha Rollerson, Simon Cooper and David for their generous support. And we would of course like to thank all of our other patrons. Without your support, the show would not be possible. If you want to support our work, please check us out on Patreon. You can get access to bonus campaigns for Cult Divinity Lost and Coriolis there, as well as get early and raw access to all of our recordings. You can also hear your name read on the show as a champion of the Red Moon, as well as play Cult with us. Most importantly, that support is what keeps the show going, so do check us out there. Thank you again for listening, and see you soon again.